Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, creepers and geekers? Chris, the Atari creep. How is everyone doing today? Um, some of you chimed in and said, I like that road rage thing you did the other day. That was hilarious. Hardy hard. So asking you shall receive. I plan on doing some vlog videos from time to time. And maybe I'll format them in the car when I need to go somewhere. Because that's what we got to do today. In fact, I've already been somewhere. And we're going to talk about that. As well as another, another topic of interest to me anyway. Um, well, I was just in GameStop about, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. I guess that's not important. Why did but I was in there to take care of some business, and uh, the gentleman in front of me was trading in a whole bunch of stuff, mainly N64 stuff, and he had 2DS, one of those little wedge ones. Poor guy behind the counter, he's all by himself, the phone's ringing off the hook, he's got to deal with this guy's big box of shit. He's got to deal with me, and then behind that, he had, um, I don't know, what the fuck this lady, I'm going, fuck her. Um, he started developing a line behind him, five or six people. This fucking poor guy was sweating. <clears throat> so he's going through all this stuff. Now, I don't know if this is typical, but he's going through it. And, of course, he's nervous. And he's fumbling. The guy couldn't even get a, a little cartridge into the 2DS properly to test it out. But I'm saying to myself, all right, cool. He's at least testing it out, you know. They're going to make their money, and hopefully they won't sell crap to people. Then he had 64 stuff came out. He's, he took about 15 games and he put a few away because they were sports titles and said, I know I'm not going to take these. And he's going through the titles. There's some pretty good titles in there. He had uh, a Mario Kart 64, Super Mario 64, uh, Ocarina of Time was in there. And then one really jumped out at me. He put down the counter a Conker's Bad Fur Day. Now, I'm not excited or anything because. If you've been around this channel long enough, you know I fucking hate the N64. I have kind of a love-hate thing going on with it. But I understand Conkers. I know what it's all about. I dig it. I know the, 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 the value of it on the street. As soon as I hit the table, I was like, oh, shit. And I said it out loud. And then the fucking GameStop guy gave me this glare, this shut your fucking mouth. So I shut my mouth. Turned out he only gave the kid like 40 bucks for it. But you know what? To me, that's a good deal. I don't care what its value is. But the point of me even talking about this is this kid's got this huge stack of games. All of them are AAA titles, I guess you would call them these days. They're they're very desirable. They're very, they're very good titles. If I were to call any games on the S64 good, it would be the ones that this kid had. All of them, though. Every fucking one of them. So, of course, my thought is... At least even real. They looked real enough. I don't think this kid was trying to fake anything. He was too mousy, but you never tell these days, you know? But that Conkers was really in the back of my mind. And then my faith in GameStop kind of went down just a little bit. Because you hear those stories about people buying games like Conkers from, from GameStop Online. And, you know, Earthbound or whatever the fuck. They get it and it's some sports title, <laughs> you know? And it's a, it's a repro or some shit to that effect. And uh, they didn't test anything. They didn't test the N64. Now, I understand that's not possible. I mean, this guy was all by himself. I don't think they have a TV set up to do all that. But what happens if that thing doesn't work? I know you take down the information of the individual who, uh, who traded it into you. But how does that even fucking work? Let's say none of that shit worked. How's GameStop going to get their money back? Is this kid going to go to fucking jail? But I just thought it was kind of interesting that this guy had... He ended up getting like almost $200 in trade value. In trade value. And that's saying a lot for, for what he had. Uh, you know, given that it's GameStop giving him the trade value, you know? So I just thought that was pretty interesting. I wanted to talk about that. I mean, this poor bastard. He, he did end up using a lot of that store credit to get something for his PlayStation 4. And when the guy went into the back to go get it, I was talking to him. I'm like, ah, dude, you know, I, I, I could tell you about 20 people right now that that would have sold instantly to for about a, 
you know, at least 75 bucks, you know, I would have left it somewhat fair. But he said, yeah, you know, I just, it's convenience and I get the whole thing. I totally get it. So I just thought that was interesting. I don't know why I really wanted to discuss that. Um, let's just hope it's all real and it works. So if any of you bastards go out there and you purchase Conker's Bad Fur Day for the N64, that if you get that copy, it's legit. <laughs> it did, nothing seemed out of place, though. But I'm not an N64 expert, so what the fuck do I know? So my next order of business here, and you know, I wasn't even going to do a video about this. Um... But you know what? Heck it. I'm, I'm, I'm in the car. We're doing a vlog. Atari box. I'll try not to flood my, my feed with all Atari box all the time, 24-7. Especially when it's just simple news like they decide to hold back on their pre-orders. And I wasn't going to do it because of that reason. But then I started thinking to myself, what if they're actually fucking listening to us? There's an idea that I know a lot of you fucking haters won't think of. You'll just come right out. Can we go chameleon? This thing's gonna be shit! Which possibly will be. But what if they're actually listening to us? What if they actually want to do right by us? You know, there's a, there's a saying within the, the pop culture and geek communities that no one hates Star Wars more than a Star Wars fan. The same is true for you fucking video game guys. I say you. I mean, I'm part of that too, but you guys want to hate on everything. Instead of just enjoying things and letting people fucking enjoy them. Well, I have my opinions. Well, you know, at the end of the day, opinions don't mean shit when fact comes out. Your, 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 your opinions are valid. And I will never deny them. And these are my opinions. I have them too. Oh my God. So what the fuck? Get the fuck in your own lane. Oh no. My car is now beeping. You know what? My car just heard me fucking scream road rage. And it's like, dude, chill out. No, well, that one's like, you know, my passenger seat. I think someone's sitting here now. I want someone to buckle up. Back to what I was saying. What if Atari is actually listening to us? What if they got all excited, blew their load quick, and said, yeah, we're going to do this. And then they saw all, well, if they saw my video. But they say RGT's fucking angry rant video about the subject. And they said, you know what? Maybe we need to maybe we need to rethink this thing. We need to do right by these people. Here's another point of view that no one's gonna fucking say. That I'm saying. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just what if, you know? Why do we always have to be so negative? So they see these videos and they think, okay, maybe we maybe we blew our load a little soon. These people are right. We don't have enough information out there. And we're going to lose interest in this product, especially because of sins of the past. Click on the million! The fuck up with that. Let it die. So, I just thought that was an interesting idea. I don't know. Maybe you subscribe to it. Maybe you don't. I'm pretty sure most of you don't. But I just wanted to throw that little bug into the back of your head. Just, just because. You know, if they do right by us, they're going to do right by us. But, you know, if, if you're not into this product, you're not into this product. So what? What if I am? So what? What if I waste my money? What's it to you? What's it going to hurt you? It's not going to hurt you at all. Like, you're an idiot. Okay, I'm an idiot. So what? All right. But I really do hope and I really do think that Atari saw the backlash and was like, we can't fuck this up. This is our name. We own this name. Not like the other thing where they just leased the name out and then they backed out when they realized shady shit was happening. They own the name. And I think they want to treat it with some respect. I mean, they're a corporation. They need to make money. And I get it. But I think they understand that they need to do it properly. And they blew their load. And they said, you know what? We're going to we get limited information out there. So let's let's do this properly. And uh, hopefully they're going to do right by us. So guys, what are your thoughts on both ideas? You know, no feedback's negative to me. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback's positive. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Again, I hope your holidays are uh, going without a bang. And everyone's being safe out there. Because accidents don't take holidays. So just be smart with your party. Your holiday parties and such. And until next time, guys. Hope you're doing well. Take care. And bye-bye.